Hello, yeah, my name is Dale Taronitz and we're in the, uh, the Railroads Greenhouses right now, giving you a short introductory video as to what the HORT program is all about. So the Camosun Horticulture Program is run out of Railroads University, has been for over 20 years, and we're in the old original greenhouse. We've got our poly houses here, and the six acre walled garden that this uh, sits in is where the Camosun Horticulture Program is run. And we run beginning of July until the start of April, on site here five days a week, 8.30 till three each day. It's a pretty in-depth program covering quite a lot of the basic concepts of horticulture all divided up into about 16 courses which you can view on the website. It's just a wonderful site for students to be. We've got a lot of practical work that we can do here and we do some off-site work too at various orchards and parks and gardens. Uh, our classroom is here as well. Um, so pretty much 90% of the program is run out of the railroads here. The goal of the program is to get you introduced to all the basic uh, facets of horticulture from plant ID to botany to soils, turf, mechanics, um, greenhouses and plant propagation, landscape design and landscaping. And the, the big goal of the program is just to get you geared up for employment in all aspects of the horticulture sector. Our grads go on to do all kinds of different things, whether it be working at large parks, gardens, golf courses, uh, universities and colleges, even Royal Roads here, and in the private sector with landscapers, whether it be maintenance, installation, food gardening and edible growing has become really big for quite a number of years, and various aspects of farming. So our students go in all directions. Um, and so it's just a really neat introduction uh, where you're working with a cohort of about 18 students. We do cover the levels one and two encompassed in the program as well as you do the foundation program. So a lot of people who are interested in pursuing the Red Seal in horticulture after this program have got credits for level one, two and 500 hours towards it and a good introduction to what it's all about. Various field trips throughout the year where they meet, meet hosts and ex-students and so it's just a good exposure to, uh, to the hort sector and the hort industry. Hi, my name is Lisa Gregg and I'm one of the instructors with the Camosun College Horticulture Program. And this is the area where we often meet first thing. If you follow me, I'm going to take us on a tour. Right here we're actually looking at the glass house um, and this is coming into the entrance way where a lot of our students are actually engaging in the activities in our horticulture program here. All of our students have an area um, in our perennial border. There are 18 different areas for all the students to participate in their activities. And we also have to my right here, a medieval garden and a dry garden area, all of which have been denoted with specific plants for given growing conditions. One of the most important things too about our perennial border area is that the students actually get practical working skill as to how to care for a garden over a full year season with irrigation, um, plant care, pruning, etc. throughout the year and they're all responsible for their given area within the gardens. Something that it has great advantage is we have an 120 year old pear tree here that has been espaliered on the old wall garden and this is a growing theme for fruit trees that the students end up learning about. We do a great deal of fruit tree pruning and behind me we have a large 70 foot by 100 foot square um, vegetable garden which the students actually feed themselves from. We also have a hoop house where we grow winter greens and in the summertime we grow melons and tomatoes and things like that for the students. Another component um, that's really important with our program is the caring for various gardens. At Royal Roads um, we look after the entire six acres in this walled garden area and it comprises of many different styles of gardens. This is the Commandant's house and there are some relaxed garden features as well as some very um, intense pruning practices that go on there. And then over to 
our right, I have what's referred to as a parterre garden, sometimes even referred to as a knot garden, which our Camosun horticulture students have built these gardens over the last 20 years. And this is a feature by which the students are able to learn how to do proper hedging and pruning of a very clipped and contained garden feature. Here at Camosun too, we have a number of different pieces of equipment. The students end up learning how to use various um, tools for the trade. Um, they learn how to disassemble a lawnmower and actually put it back together again. We have two ride-on lawnmowers that the students will learn how to utilize as well as a number of different pieces of power equipment. Um, we do a great deal of prop plant propagation. So throughout the season, we are also taking cuttings of from summer right through until uh, winter time. At this time of year in January, we will be doing a lot of hardwood cuttings of our broadleaf evergreens as well as some of our deciduous plant material. We have found over the years there's been a shift in direction that a lot of students are going into. Our students are really concerned about um, regenerative farming and land care, as well as sustainability. And even students who may have been exposed to horticulture, landscape horticulture generally as a field, they definitely have great concern about land care. So our program, I find, exposes our students to so many different aspects of horticulture that it gives them a great um, basis of knowledge by which they're able to choose a direction. So if you are interested in pursuing the horticulture program please visit the Hort Education BC website, Hort Ed BC, or the Camosun College Trades and look up horticulture or give us a call or an email. We'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you.